And welcome back to Who Will Win. I'm pre-recording all my Monday videos for Sunday on Sunday. That way, the week is just going to be easier to do in the long run. Uh, this one comes to us from Joshua. And I'm going to guess this is a joke fight, like similar to 1010 versus Madara. Madara. Um, you walk the villain, main villain from, you know, the final arc of Bleach versus 1010 from Naruto. 1010, what do, what do you bring to the table? Well, she's an expert in weapons combat, a skilled hand and fighter given her teammates. She is skilled in scroll sealing, uh, sealing multiple kunai, ninja wire, shuriken, blade staffs, you name it. In the anime, she gets this cool little giant exploding base thing that basically launches itself with explosive tags. Uh, 1010's, 1010's an underrated character. A lot of people love 1010. Do I even need to say who wins this fight? Look, I, I agreed to do it. I do all, just about any suggestion when it comes to who wins, I'll do. 100%. This was a suggestion. It's a quick one, obviously. But you walk without doing anything. Literally just, can, I mean, I would, I'm kind of being facetious, but I'm not even. It's like, he's got the almighty. He can literally just look at her and she'll blow up. <laughs> um, Like, seriously. And if you want to get technical, too, because he's, well, actually, he's a Quincy. So he technically has a physical body that's not a spiritual body. But to exist in the soul society, you do need a physical, spiritual body. So uh, that's an that's a interesting little catch-22. Um, but either way, it's like, okay, let, let's go down you are real bit, quick. The man could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Yamamoto, who is literally a being on a like another level to any other Shinigami. Just about any other Shinigami out there. Like, there's a handful of Shinigami who could maybe compete with him. Um, you're talking about a guy who can like literally withstand the flames of Ryu Junjika, which can pretty much incinerate anything. The Bonkai Ryu Junjika is Zaka no Tachi, who is literally, who literally it can just incinerate anything, um, out of existence. And he just stole that and then just sliced Yamamoto down. His, uh, you know, he's got the Quincy arrows, which can pretty much erase a target from existence. Super speed from here in Kaku, Blute Vein and Blute um, Artery, which basically increase strength and speed. This is all on a guy who already is hacked enough to take down all of the, most of the, if not all the captains of the 13 Court Guard squad on his own. Um, spiritual energy, which would you can kind of compare to Chakra, it is a component of Chakra, on a level that basically can affect you know, ex you know, levels of, ex planes of existence to certain degrees. And that's even before you include the, uh, Quincy Spells, the Almighty, which lets him not only look at every possible conceivable future, process that information, but also alter the future to his will. So, yeah, hacks much, and that's before he absorbs the Soul King. <laughs> so, Ten Ten will come out with their scroll, just, ha! And he's like, uh, he's like, oh, interesting. He just got the blute on there, so he's just ding, 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 ding. Oh, little girl. It's like, what is it? little girl, I have no time to play with you. Whatever his voice is going to sound like. I can, I'm can. i trying to actually, you know, that's a good point. What What is his voice going to sound like? Dub or sub, or um, dub or, um, you know, original version. What do you think Ewok's Japanese or English voice is going to sound like? You know what? Might be the same guy who does Zongetsu. Maybe just a slightly altered version of some, because I mean, when in the when some actors left, voice actors left uh, the uh, the Bleach dub, like the actor who voiced Kempachi left, unfortunately, um, and um, I think the actor who did Yamamoto left too, because I think Ishin, the guy who did Ishin's voice, did Yamamoto at one point, um, which sucked because I mean, or man Yamamoto. And I love I love Jiraki's dub voice, honestly, because it's the voice, guy who does the voice of Jiraiya. So I love that voice. Um, that voice really worked. Uh, but and uh, Urahara's Sally, the actor who voiced him, I think in the dub was it actually was it the dub or was it the English voice um, or the Japanese voice who passed away? One of the voice actors for Urahara died, unfortunately, which is and just like and we lost the voice actor for Bulma too in Japan. So uh, it's unfortunate, but. Yeah, um, but no, because obviously we know Zangetsu is just a younger version. He represents Ichigo's Quincy powers, and his younger version representing Yuwak, that it would actually make sense that the voice of Zangetsu would be the voice of uh, Yuwak. Uh, that's enough, little girl. And then, you know, comes in, just take... He literally, like I said, he could literally look at her, and she'd blow up. 
the, yeah, there's no con there's no art, and he can steal powers too, by the way. So even if she had an ability that could be harmful to him, he could literally take that power for himself if he wanted to. So yeah, I get it though. It was a joke fight. But, it's, but, I mean, it's also a quick video I can do just to indulge. So, yes, Yuwak wins that fight. Uh, unless, now let's be very clear here. Unless she's given the Quincy, oh, guys, not the let's steal. Um, the Quincy Silver Bolt that basically depowered him briefly. And then she basically hits him whatever she thinks he's got and maybe gets a kill shot. Um, I guess there's that weird... 0.00001% chance then. <laughs> but that's also give, been given a weapon prep for prep and having to be able, giving him or giving her the chance to hit him with it. The only reason he got, uh, the only reason he was actually killed is because he got so cocky that even though he could see the future, he wasn't paying attention. And even then, he had a backup plan, uh, which got thwarted by uh, Ishigo's kid. So there you go. Uh, anyway, I digress. There's your who would win, Joshua. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please, please note that this is pretty much like, I mean, I did the video, but even I acknowledge this is a pretty much a joke, right? Uh, but thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know the review event at some point. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you folks next time.